guys today we're at the Drish house built in 1837 by a skilled slave craftsman the Drish mansion is notable for its unusual Greek revival and Italian architecture In 1837, the Drish House was built in the middle of 450 acres by Dr. John R. Drish, one of Tuscaloosa's earliest settlers. The Drish family lived on the property until they sold it to Judge Cochran in 1887. Then in the 1900s, the plantation was the first Jemison School in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The haunted history is Dr. Trish was known for drinking heavily. One night fell over the stairway and died. The Jemison Home, built by Robert Jemison Jr., completed in 1862. The 26-room Italian villa-style mansion is distinguished by its octagonal cupola and Delicated carved fretwork. It's got twenty six rooms between eighteen fifty nine and eighteen sixty three. This mansion was the senator's city residence and intended to be placed for hosting important colleagues and upscale parties. The Jemison spared no expense to create the state-of-the-art city home. The Italian style house was designed by Philadelphian architect John Stewart who was in Tuscaloosa supervising the construction of Bryce Hospital. The Jemison home Incorporated the latest innovations and designs and technologies, including an elaborate plumbing system, which included running water, flushing toilets, and copper baths. After it was used for the Jimison Townhouse, it was later served as the town library, and since been acquired by the Tuscaloosa County Preservation Society. And Heritage Commission of Tuscaloosa. The Haunted History. Some believe the unusual feelings are coming from the daughter of Jemison, Priscilla Cherokee, and her husband Andrew Coleman Hangrove. Hangrove had apparently suffered from a persistent headache which hounded him after he survived a gunshot wound in the head. After suffering for years, he shot himself in the home's library to finally be rid of the pain. Distraught Priscilla fell into a deep depression and she too died eight years later. The Battle Freeman Home, built in 1835 by Alfred Battle, purchased 1875 by Bernard Philman, will to the city of Tuscaloosa, 1965 by Hugo Philman, traditionally a social and cultural center in Tuscaloosa. The house's grounds includes the only remaining documented antebellum garden in the state. The Battle family owned the house until 1875 when they lost it due to foreclosure in the last dark days of reconstruction period.
the Freeman family, Bernard and his wife, Linka, raised their three children in this home throughout the 1900s. The Freeman family owned the house until 1965 when it was willed by Bernard's youngest son, Hugo Freeman, to the city of Tuscaloosa. They do have open house tours daily, but today we weren't going to take the tour. So I wanted to go over here and check this out. This is the only known existing antebellum garden in the state of Alabama. Okay guys, this will include today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace y'all.